Hi everyone, I'm Nancy Jacobs, the Basket Master, and in today's video we're going to make a round basket. We're going to make a berry basket. So what you need to prepare for this are seven spokes of 5 8 inch flat cut at 18 inches long. Seven at 18 inches. You need one that's 5 8 inch flat at 50 inches long. So I have those already cut. I've also determined my right and my wrong sides. And if you've forgotten how to do that, go back and look at video two where I talk about Reed has a rough side. That's the wrong side that you want to the inside of your basket. Now I'm going to mark a couple of these spokes at their halfway mark with a pencil. So I have my 50 inch spoke and I'm going to mark it here at 25 inches and I have an 18 inch spoke so I'm going to mark that at my 9 inches and these are called spokes on this basket because it's a round basket so it's, it's like the spokes of a bicycle wheel whereas on a square or a rectangular basket they're called stakes same thing basically. It's what it's the pieces of reed that are going to help lay out the base and then go up the sides of your basket. So we're going to begin. You take your 50 inch piece of reed and you need three of your 18 inch pieces of, of 5 8 inch flat reed. And we'll start with our two center pieces. We'll just start by laying the 50 inch one horizontal, we'll lay one of the 18 inch ones uh, vertical, and we'll just kind of fill in, fill in the blanks here with the others. Alright, so we've got kind of a starburst pattern going on right now. Now we're going to take a piece of our number three round reed, and remember in the, the square basket we folded it in half and we crimped it. This time I want you to fold it a little off center because we're going to be doing more twining on this basket and I don't want the, the loose ends, I don't want them to end at the same spot. I want them to end at different places. So fold it up slightly off center. Use your needle nose pliers and just and give it a crimp and that's going to keep your reed from breaking. Okay, so we have we have our starburst pattern and we're going to begin with twining. And uh, we're, we're going to do a lot more twining on this base than we did on the, the rectangular basket that we did last time. But if you need a little refresher in twining, uh, go back and look at video four is the one where I cover twining. So now we're going to take it, loop it over our 50 inch piece. We'll start there. Okay, the, the piece that's on the top, or they're, they're both on top, remember, but the one that's further back, it goes behind the next spoke. Pick up your, your next piece and it goes behind. You're making this little half twist and keep looping. Keep, keep both pieces on top at all times, but the one that's further behind is the one that goes behind the next spoke. And then I find it easier if I turn my basket, turn my base. Now you will notice here, I'm going to show you this close up. I'm not twining right up close to where all these pieces meet in the center. Here, take a look at this. Kind of square it up. There, take a look. Okay, you, there's still there's there's gaps in the twining, but that's okay. We're going to, we're going to fill those in, so don't let that alarm you. If you put your twining too close to the center, you're going to have a hard time with twining. You're not going to be able to make that little half twist. You're going to struggle with it. So leave it out about oh a half inch to three quarters of an inch. That's fine. And let's continue on. So 
so I keep I continue making this little half twist and I keep moving my basket face around and around because I like to, I, I like to, to twine and to work from left to right and as you continue with each row you want your rows tight against each other see you know this there's there's two rows right here down down here there's there's three but, but they're, they're they're tight together do you see that all right now also I'm at the I'm at the end I, I've run out so what I want to do here I'm gonna leave this little end just just kind of loose I'm gonna get my next piece of number three round read and I'm going to just lay it here. I will cut these in shorter once the basket has dried. I know that some weavers do um, uh, tuck in the ends. Personally, I find that's really not necessary. I don't, I, I don't care for the look of it. So I like to just have my ends just, just kind of butt up at the end. So if I lay them in place, and go back after it's dry, cut them later, I can get those little ends to just butt up and it, to me it just looks really nice. So I'm going to continue on and if you need to where you're, you're starting your new piece go ahead and use a clothespin if you want it to, to help it hold and stay, help it stay in place better and continue twining around and now this piece, this uh, second half, I've, I've run out, so I need to start another piece of twining, and this is why I didn't, I didn't want both ends to end at the same place because that adds too much thickness and too much bulk. I want the ends to end in different places around the basket. So again, I'll just put a clothespin there to hold it in place, and, and what you do is when you add this next piece of twining, you just pretend that that first piece of twining where it ran out, you just pretend it just kept on going. That, pretend that you never ended, that, it, that it, just, it just kept going. And again with this one, I will cut it short once the basket has dried. And once I get around here, twining will lock those loose ends in place. And I can just keep going. Now, I'm going to twine for a couple more rows here and then I'm going to be ready to lay my next spokes in place. So at this point I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to continue for just for a couple more rows. So I'll have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. I'll have about seven rows there and then we're going to lay our next set of our four 18 inch, uh, five, five eighths inch flat uh, spokes in place and we'll continue on with the base. The base will end up being a total of about six inches. All right, we'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.